I've only got enough battery for this. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Hello beautiful souls, welcome back and welcome to this month's unboxing of the Mood by Innocent Bones box. It's literally just arrived and no I haven't had a sneak peek. It was open when I received it which I'm kind of nervous about. <laughs> so let's dive in and see what we've got this month. Okay, so I know that Grace has changed the packaging. She was gone for slimmer packaging, which I really appreciate. So let me just open up the box and let's have a look at what we've got this month. I know the theme for this month and it's very cool. I'm not very cool. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Let's just fold that. Here's your little sneak, little sneak peek. <laughs> Oh, there's quite a few items in here. Okay, so the theme for this month's box is the Skulls and Roses box, which I've said to you guys before, I find skulls slightly creepy. It's the teeth that freak me out more than anything. I just find it really weird, but it's okay. I can do this. I'm a grown up. So let's have a look at what we have. So I'll just put the cross stitch pattern to one side. Let's start with this first item. This is the item that I knew we were getting. And to be fair, it's, it's massive. <laughs> Yeah, these are huge, these are so cool. Do you know what? These are amazing. Okay, so we have some huge skull scissors. Honestly, I thought these were gonna be really dainty for like, you know, cutting your threads, but actually this is more like, you could use this for anything. This is enormous. It says skull scissors, dead sharp, finest quality, heavy duty. And then on the back it has some fun designs of a skeleton scissoring. No, that's rude. <laughs> No, cutting with some scissors. Yeah, anyway, it says designed by Seb Sabine. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, they're pretty cool. I, I, again, find the teeth so creepy, but it's a clever idea. So I definitely like that. So the next item is this really cute. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Okay, that's not what I expected. I thought it was a little pin, but it actually says it's a magnetic needle minder by kateblandford.com. That's so cute. So it's a little heart with a magnet on the back and then it magnetizes to another magnet so you can keep your, your needles safe. That's a really great idea. I love that because I genuinely just sewed together a, t a little bag to put all of my threads and things in and I was like, oh God, I'm going to lose my needles. So that's a really great idea actually. I really like that. Okay, next item we have says bobbins. <laughs> great idea, Grace, great idea. Really good for keeping your threads nice and tidy because sometimes you don't need all of a certain color and then you just have a bit of thread left that's really quite scruffy. So she has put a few bobbins in here and they're this cute little color with her little branding on that's nice. So you can just keep your threads nice and clean. Can you guys see that? There we go. So you can put your threads around those and they, they don't get knotted up, which is actually a nightmare. I'm terrible with knots. <laughs> I have to go to someone else and be like, please help me. So yeah, that's a really good idea. Thanks for giving us those, Grace. And then, oh, wow. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, this is really lovely. See, I'm like, oh, I'm really nervous about the skulls and roses, but it's so cute. So we have rose metal bookmark. And then inside is this gorgeous bookmark. I hope you can see that. All right, I'll do close-ups saying, I love you forever. And then you have this lovely bookmark. That's so cute. That is something I never would have thought of, but I love it. So she's got this really cool rose gold and gold theme going on, which I like. And then we have this really cute little bag. Look at this. Little zip bag, innocent bones times stabby joe tattoos with a nice big zip. So you can pop your items in. That's really cool, actually. As I say, I've just sewn together one of these. It's quite small, so I can probably fit the smaller items like the needles and things inside it and this would be good for my threads so that's really helpful really glad that she sent that how can i oh there we go isn't that cute i love it okay so let's have a look at the design for this month's cross stitch kit i am imagining there's going to be a skull on it <laughs> a big skull which i'd love to say they're really easy to sew but i'm not i'm still not a pro so let's get inside have a looky look Ooh. okay what have we got did i get all of it yes we go oh cool okay i kind of like it it says no bad vibes and you have your snakes roses and a big skull in the middle so lots of black thread the black thread is the one that i struggle with <laughs> but 
I would love to say this is a simple design and it is in the sense that it's just two-tone right which is cool obviously you can add colors right you could do some shading or you could add some other other colors if you wanted or if you've got extra thread which I think I do so I might I might add some more colors to it but I like that it's like no bad vibes I like that that's a good reminder actually see you later bad vibes so the color thread that we have obviously is the black can you see that yeah there's a the black and then this kind of it's not really a fluorescent pink what's it say it's just called like a, a vibrant pink so those are the two colors as i say you can always add a color i don't think that's a problem at all and then of course you get your hoop and your fabric and your aida and a little needle which i can now oh yeah it really does magnetize <laughs> great idea that's such a good idea really chuffed with that amazing so yeah this month in our little cheat sheet we have skull scissors canvas pouch that's probably the right word I'm, I was thinking of as a tote bag but that's not right bobbins yes definitely leftover thread is great for that and a needle minder which I think is so helpful and she's put here no more fumbling around on the sofa which is such a good point like if you're looking for a needle you just <laughs> get your magnet never thought of that before like never thought of it being magnetized and then on the back she's just put her information if you want to share any pictures of your items so this is a really great box again honestly i'm really loving these month well bi-monthly boxes i honestly think they're really great fun because grace put some really lovely items in she always supports other businesses they're just good fun i, I mean i haven't started the last one which <laughs> I really need to I think it's because it looks like quite a complicated design I've made myself feel a bit nervous but this one looks quite simple so it'd probably be easier for me to start this one and maybe build up my confidence for the, the last one I don't know it's just the last one I looked at it and I was like ah and I haven't started it whereas this I'm like I can do that yeah I can definitely do that so I'll definitely have a go and then I'll share and insert with you guys the finished product so you can have a look and see what those are like so basically I need to get stitching <laughs> which is fine it's good it's good to do that at the moment you know it's quite nice it's getting into autumn so it's a good time to get stitching and just like have a nice time by the fire like that's all I want to do is sit by a fire read a good book do some stitching and just wear comfy clothes with nice socks do you know what I mean like that's the vibe I want at the moment so this is the September box which means the next box will be in November slightly gutted that we don't get a Halloween box but I guess this kind of has a bit of Halloween vibe in there if you like with the skulls <music> So obviously there's a little bit of a difference. I thought I would swap the skull and the roses around from the original design and actually it was really hard. <laughs> I really really struggled to create that rose as you can see because I tried to make it three times as big and then I miscounted and ended up making it twice as big in some sections, three times as big in other sections. It just didn't really go to plan so I thought okay there's no way I can shrink the skull down if I struggle with the rose. So I thought I won't overcomplicate it and I'll just keep it simple and I also miscounted with my V which which meant that my vibes looks wrong <laughs> so I'm missing a bit off the top of every single one the V the I the B the E and the S but I feel like you can just about get away with it I still like it I'm still really happy with it it did not go to plan at all <laughs> That was me saying it didn't look too complicated and yeah I overcomplicated it but I'm really happy with it and I think it looks really nice. So let me know what you guys think of this box. I actually think it's really nice. I was nervous. Love it. Really excited to use a little canvas pouch. Really chuffed with those scissors. They look like hairdressing scissors. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> If I come back and my hair is totally short next video, you know I've been using those scissors. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video. <laughs>